Question number one. What is the best way to prevent deep vein thrombosis in a post-operative patient? Right answer is option C. Early embolation. Question number two. Which surgical procedure involves the removal of the gallbladder? Right answer is option B. Cholecystectomy. Question number three. Which of the following is an early sign of malignant hyperthermia? The right answer is option B. Muscle rigidity. Question number four. Which of the following is the correct way to position a patient after lobectomy? Right answer is option D. On the non-operative side. Question number five. Which is a common post-operative complication after abdominal surgery? Right answer is option B. Pyrolytic ileus. Question number six. What is the purpose of surgical asepsis in the operating room? The right answer is option C. To prevent infection. Question number seven. Which is a priority nursing diagnosis for a patient with congestive heart failure? The right answer is option B. Activity intolerance. Question number eight. Which of the following is a characteristic of RTL ulcers? Right answer is option C. Pale dry wound bed. Question number 9. Which laboratory test is the most specific indicator of myocardial infarction? Right answer is option A. Troponin. Question number 10. Which symptom is most commonly associated with hypoglycemia right answer is option C diaporesis question number 11 what is the most common site for the development of pressure ulcers correct answer is option A heels question number 12 which of the following is the first line treatment for anaphylaxis? Right answer is option C. Epinephrine. Question number 13. Which type of fluid is best for fashion with severe dehydration? Correct answer is option B. Isotonic solution. Question number 14. Which type of shock is characterized by widespread vasodilation? Right answer is option D. Neurogenic shock. Question number 15. Which of the following is the most common early post-operative complication? Right answer is option D. Atelectasis. Question number 16. Which assessment is essential after a patient has undergone general anesthesia? Right answer is option A. Level of consciousness. Question number 17. Which type of soldier material is absorbed by the body? Right answer is option D. Vicral. Question number 18. Which type of diabetes is most commonly associated with insulin resistance? Right answer is option B. 
type 2 diabetes question number 19 which condition is characterized by chronic inflammation of the gastrointestinal tract right answer is option c crohn's disease question number 20 which vitamin deficiency is commonly associated with megaloblastic anemia right answer is option c vitamin b12 question number 21 which test is commonly used to diagnose deep vein thrombosis The right answer is option B, Doppler ultrasound. Question number 22. What is a common cause of post-operative urinary retention? Right answer is option B, spinal anesthesia. Question number 23. Which of the following should be monitored closely in a patient after thyroidectomy? The right answer is option A. Calcium levels. Question number 24. Which of the following is the most common post-operative complication in elderly patients? Correct answer is option C. Delirium. Question number 25. Which type of anesthesia is most commonly associated with post-operative nausea and omoting? The right answer is option C. General anesthesia. Question number 26. Which is a priority assessment for a patient who has just returned from surgery? Right answer is option B. Vital signs. Question number 27. Which position is recommended for a patient to prevent aspiration during nasogastric tube feeding? The right answer is option B. High Fowlers. Question number 28. What is the most critical first step when a patient shows signs of in epileptic shock. The right answer is option D. Securing the airway. Question number 29. What is the purpose of administering heparin to a post-operative patient? Correct answer is option B. To prevent blood clots. Question number 30. Which is a priority assessment for a patient receiving opioids for pain management? Correct answer is option A. Respiratory rate. Question number 31. Which electrolyte is most closely monitored in a patient receiving diuretics? Correct answer is option A. Potassium. Question number 32. Which type of drain is commonly used to prevent fluid accumulation in a surgical wound? Correct answer is option D. Jackson Pratt drain. Question number 33. Which type of wound drainage is described as thick yellow, green or brown? Right answer is option A. Prolent drainage. Question number 34. What is the primary reason for monitoring urine output in post-operative patients? Correct answer is option C to assess renal function. Question number 35. Which of the following condition is characterized by the accumulation of fluid in the lungs? Correct answer is option A. Pulmonary edema. 
Question number 36. Which is the most common cause of urinary tract infection in hospitalized patients? The right answer is option C. Catheterization. Question number 37. Which of the following is a common complication of long-term steroid therapy? The right answer is option D. Osteoporosis. Question number 38. Which of the following condition is most commonly associated with hypertension? Right answer is option A. Stroke. Question number 39. Which of the following is the most common complication of a Calysis talk to me. The right answer is option C. Bile leakage. Question number 40. Which of the following position is most commonly used for pelvic surgery? The right answer is option D. Trendelenburg. Question number 41. What type of bandage is used for fracture in the body? Right answer is option A. Crepe. Question number 42. What is the first nursing action if a patient's IV site appears red and swollen? Correct answer is option C. Stop the infusion.